Oh, boy, it was John Perla. What's the difference? I don't know why you're making such a big thing out of it. I'm making a big thing out of it, Marcy, because you are. Now, you've denied ever having met him. You didn't tell me you knew him when he came into my apartment the other night. You're making a big secret of this whole association. What association? Merely because I had dinner with him? Well, that's all it is. Why are you covering it up? Now, there's got to be a connection. I want to know what it is. <laughs> You've known Stan Perlow a long time, isn't that so? You make it sound as if he and I... You know I... what I'm driving at. No, I don't. Stan Perlow? I didn't even know his last name until I saw the picture. Look, he's some guy who hangs out in the gambling rooms at the Farcher, and I struck up an acquaintance with him. You struck up an acquaintance with him? Why? Let it rain. I said a... let it rain. We're taking no calls. We're doing nothing until this is straightened out. What's the matter with you? I don't understand. I'll tell you what's the matter. Dan Perlow told me how he got the information about Millie Parks working on Arnie Duncan's files. He did? Yes, he did. He said it came from someone who owed the boys a favor. So what's that got to do with me? Well, you've made deals before to pay off your gambling debts, haven't you? Tell me, you're suggesting that yes, I went... If you have any other explanation as to why you were with Stan Perlow a few weeks ago, and no. you get a secret... I don't need to explain, and I'm not giving you an explanation. Now, are you accusing me of giving the information on Millie Fox? Yes. There is no doubt in my mind but that you are the informer. Oh, you are crazy. Look, how would I even know that Millie Fox is working with the police on the files? In the first place, I don't know Millie Fox. And in the second place, only you and the district attorney and a couple of other people knew anything about it. Hello? Tom, are you there? Yes, Vicki. Father and I are still waiting for you in his office. Give me another minute or two. Now. Skelly was in here telling me about Millie's work on those files that would hopefully expose some of the mob's operations. Well, I, I wouldn't know about that. I didn't know why I was here. Oh, that's, that's right. You graciously excused yourself before you told me. But not until after you exhibited a great deal of curiosity about Skelly's visit. So what's that supposed to prove? Only that you excused yourself to take some papers to Victor Lord's office. And that's where you heard enough to make the deal with Perlow. What deal? Tell me, you don't know what you're talking about. You know about. all about Millie Parks and those files where you had dinner with Perlow. Now, what was the deal? You tell me. I had a gambling debt. Go on. Look, I knew if they could get some kind of valuable information, any kind of information, they might cancel my IOU. I mean that, Tom. Look, I don't know really from a hole in the wall. It was just any kind of information that would save my neck. I had no idea what they'd do with it. I see. No, you don't see. I had no way of paying them back if I didn't give them something. Don't you understand? I had to do it. Millie was stupid to go to the GAs anyway. She could have played along with him and made it a good thing for herself. Oh, I see, I oh, Tom, none of this is my doing. Millie was stupid and Jim Swollett was a fool to get himself shot for her. If you think about it, you realize that none of this is really my fault. Oh, I see. Tom, please don't. Uh... I should have leveled with everyone a long time ago. 
Once I remember my past, I, I should have revealed exactly who I was. Tom, you couldn't do it. Well, no matter what the consequences were, they couldn't be as bad as this. I should have told them you were my wife. That I was wanted for a robbery in Canada that you committed because of your gambling. And that I am certainly not Victor Lowe's long-lost son as he thinks I am. And I should have told them that you, you would do anything. Including let a couple of innocent people die to save your own neck. Or maybe something to be saved from all of this. Tom, you're not going to tell me. You try to stop me. Look, Victor Lord wants to talk to you. If he can't talk you out of this, he's going to pull it out. I have no interest in what Victor Lord says or does at this point. I have something to take care of. I have to take care of it myself. Wait a minute, Tom. What about me? What about you? Look. You're not going to tell us. You're not going to do anything. I know what I did turned out badly, but I didn't mean it to. If you could only find some way to forgive me. Forgive you? Tom, you can't expose me. The gamblers in Canada are just as bad as the ones here. They find I'm not concerned about your problem in Canada. I'm concerned about what you've done here. I tell you, the I people didn't, you've heard. I didn't intend to do... Tom, where are you going? What are you going to do? How about you? I'll decide that when I get back. But right now, if you value your life at all, if you want a future of any kind, you do exactly what I say. I promise I'll never... Stop it, Marcy! I'm sick of it! Now, I'm going down the side stairs and out the back door. You go to Victor Lord and you tell him... Me? Well, you're so good at explaining it. You go to Victor Lord and you explain to him that I have no time to talk to him. I have other things to do.